Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 1 of the Mechanic Crafters SMP. This is going to be our recap of the launch live stream as well as everything that has happened off camera during the past week. To start this video off, let's begin with our very first couple of seconds loading into the server where actually my live stream did not even start in time. Let's jump into it. Now, the place. <laughs> the place. Right, welcome everyone to, uh, to Mechanic Crafts. All, everyone is here, so we're going to do some quick introductions uh, with all of the streamers, content creators, and everything. Uh, so let's go around. Uh, I'll start off. My name is Rocket14. I upload a bunch of create mod tutorials. Uh, yeah. Harke or Harky, you want to you wanna take that? <laughs> Hi. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm Harke. Currently, I my my thing is not loading in but we're good uh i mainly switch uh twitch stream so that's <laughs> yeah there we go going well uh yeah so uh you can check me out at twitch.tv slash i do have a youtube channel which i will be using to do uh like highlights and stuff but uh yeah guess and uh you know i haven't done this before as you can see introducing myself to a bunch of very nice minecraft fellows i do uh redstone builds uh, i really like doing crazy stuff with redstone and then my regular buildings are pretty bad looking, but maybe you'll enjoy that as well. So I think that's all I have about me right now. I leave it to you, Tobbs. Yeah, well, I'm the first half of Toma Creations, Tobbs. And uh, yeah, we you probably know us from the parkouring with Create videos. Got like 12 of them. No biggie. Uh, <laughs> on to you, Max. Uh, yes, I'm uh, the mass side of Toma Creations, and uh, well, we, we want to move on to different stuff, so here we are, a beautiful new SMP. Hello, I'm Ash. Uh, I, I, I've i been uh, uploading um, some Create content uh, recently, um, and, and I'm also an artist, and uh, you know, I, I built the 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 crawl evader and the cable car, which some of you might know. So yeah, yeah, that's that's the me. Hello everyone, I'm Polart. Um, I do a whole bunch of create um, tutorials on YouTube. You probably know me from the trains and the planes and all that kind of stuff. I'm really excited to kind of start some survival play and have a lot of fun with you guys. I'm ready. Let's do it. So just like every normal Minecraft game, I decided to immediately cut down a tree and begin mining. And, well, I also stated this. So who's going to be the first death? <laughs> well, there's already uh... <laughs> Yeah, I, I said that. Uh, guess what happened exactly a minute and 36 seconds later? Uh, uh, that's the one right, probe sorry. you're looking at, Mod. Um, but you can also use Hyla, or H-W-Y-L-A. Okay, no, 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 no. I know you're old. It's oh, like, it's oh, like that's a nice. Like First <laughs> oh, was that an explosion? That's, that's, oh, that was a well, has to be a yeah. creeper. Yeah, yeah. So now that I've let the group know that I'm not only cocky, that I'm also an idiot who decided to instead try to hit the creeper, run directly into him, uh, I decided maybe I should stay above ground just a little bit so I didn't keep dying. And uh, I ended up working on a house, which I don't even know if it counts as a house because it's made of like 99% of slabs. But you know what? We'll, we'll count it for this video. This ended up paying off quite well as a lot of the others were mining, so when they came up in the middle of the night, they had a place to stay. Uh, I even got a roommate out of this. Harky ended up living with me. But personally, my next mission after this was to make some create machines. I ended up making a water wheel, a mechanical press, and I even started working on an ore processing system, which surprisingly I had enough resources for. Once I finished all that, I began working on my house a bit more when this happened. Nice. Uh, who? House is on fire? Uh, oh, no. Pull art. Pull art. Pull art! House is on fire. <laughs> this entire oh. house. Oh no. Pollard, I was kidding when I said oh that we could God. burn our houses down. No, oh, <laughs> it's God. his thing. Uh, I'm with turning fire tick off. I picked it up. Did you get it? There's one more. Okay. <laughs> Pollard. <laughs> so needless to say, I saved Pollard's house. So Pollard, if you're listening to this video, you owe me five diamonds for that. In the next couple of hours, we ended up making a trip to the nether, uh, which resulted in a lot of us getting our butts kicked me i think leaving with about two hearts and uh yeah uh, i'd never want to go back there again so we're definitely going to get geared up a lot more before we decide to uh venture in the nether any more than this 
The rest of the stream that day consisted of me kind of working on my house, doing some mining, a lot of boringness in a way, uh, just kind of chatting with the viewers on stream. At this time, all of the mechanic crafters had had it off uh, except me, so I was just kind of hanging out uh, and just kind of getting used to live streaming. So a couple days after the stream, I logged on and to my surprise, I ended up finding a sign and a path that had been built. So I just hopped on, I've been working on my base, uh, and I saw that there's a nice little path over here. Uh, next to the nether portal that we made and it says follow this path love Toma So uh, I figured we go exploring. Um, I did just take out that tree. So uh, let's see. Let's see where it goes Oh, we've changed to wood now. Oh, and there's a boat now <laughs> Wow, uh, so it looks like they've They've gone quite far. Let's see. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, we've sat, we found something. What in the world? <laughs> what kind of, what is that? They're sacrificing a, a snowman. Oh my. All right, let's see. Look how long this path goes. These guys are far away from spawn. Granted, when I start building my own base, I'm gonna be super far. Oh, knowing them, they've definitely put themselves on top of this mountain. Oh my God, look at this. Bro, look at this. Oh, that's so them too. Oh my god. Oh, they've set the bar high, literally, for what, what they're expecting for us. Alright. I'm ready for a parkour course to get to their house. Man, they're so high up. Wow, look at this place. Oh my god, they've already got... They got mixers running, they got their cogwheels all up and running. These guys are set already. They're they're going all out. Look, the farm. They've got... Oh my god, they have like 10 water wheels? Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. They, they have gone all out, guys. Oh, that's a cool coral reef down there, though. That's, that's actually really cool. Oh wow, they're even trapping sheep. They're really going all out. Yuka log. Man. All right. This is, uh, this is set the bar. It might not look like much, but this is set the bar for what we are going to be pulling off when we are, uh, when we're building our compound. So after visiting Toma's place, uh, basically the rest of the week, I spent working on my base. So I figured that I'd give you a walkthrough of what it looks like now. Uh, compared to what we started out, it looks vastly different, and that's because I built and rebuilt and built and rebuilt this house like a hundred times. Uh, Polark and Ash could definitely attest to that because they constantly saw me tearing down my house and rebuilding it. Uh, but the, the style that I was trying to go for is more of a steampunk style, so that's why I got rid of a lot of the spruce stuff and I made it into much more maple. Uh, towards the end of my very first stream, I was talking about how that's probably what I'm going to go with. Uh, doesn't look the greatest, but it looks pretty decent because I've never built in a steampunk style. So I figured that, uh, I would go into this. So you might have also noticed that there's a sign right here. It says, come see Toma's Seaside Bargain Shop. I don't know if it's that. It quite possibly is. If so, it looks really nice. But, uh, for now, we'll, we'll explore our house and then we'll go check that out. But... Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and run through here. So the small part has changed completely. It used to be an L shape, uh, and then I had like beds and chests over there. Now it's just kind of like a, a furnace area, and then I have a stove to cook some food. If you head up to the next level, um, this is my storage area. Um, you can see I have a bunch of random odds and ends in here. There's also my blaze burner, mechanical mixer, and then we have uh, kind of like my ores and stuff, and then we have my bed and Harky's bed just chilling next to each other. Uh, then if we go up to the third level, uh, this is kind of like a sightseeing area and also my washing station and my mill. So you can see I mill stuff into here, I can then wash it, and then I can cook it downstairs. Uh, there's also a mechanical press that I have sent up with a hand crank, and then of course we have our gigantic windmill that's powering all of our machines. So, I've basically created this area to be kind of like an outpost because this is our main area, our spawn area. So this is going to be a nice area that if uh, I go from my home, which is about a thousand blocks away, 
to here, I can spend the night, I can craft food, I can even use the, the uh, mixer and the mechanical press to make whatever I would need. Uh, but it's a nice little area that I can hang out with. And you can see that everyone else's buildings are really starting to take shape as far as the spawn. Uh, I'm not going to give tours of their buildings. That's going to be completely on them. Uh, I've also taken our cows and thrown them over there because they were super annoying as I was building. Uh, but overall, that's, uh, that's what I've done with the house. Now, we're going to go check out this little sea little place over here, um, or the sea shop, I guess we can call it. But real quick, I want to say that I'm, I'm going to have an announcement towards the end of this video. Super important for the future of this uh, SMP, so definitely go ahead and check it out. But let's go, uh, let's go explore this place. Man, I love these water particles. It looks so nice. Um, oh, it's definitely Toma's. I saw, I saw Toma. Let's check this place out. Toma's Seaside Bargain Shop. <laughs> uh, best bargains in town. Prices listed in each chest. Looks four stacks for one diamond. That's really not bad for stone bricks. Uh, two stacks, one diamond. That's actually really good because sweet blossoms look really cool. Uh, we got yucca flower and spruce logs. 32 for one diamond for the yucca logs. Uh, looks like they've, they've completely made a... Uh, it looks like they've completely made... Um, a shortage of yucca and now they're selling it. I think I mentioned that as a tree when I saw it. Uh, and then seven stacks of cobblestone for one diamond. It's really cool how they've used the uh, the piece of paper. Now that being said, um, I don't think I'm gonna buy anything because I don't I don't have any diamonds. Uh, but <laughs> when we get some, we might be doing some purchases, especially for the the pink leaves. So I figured we would end this video right where we started off. Uh, so first off, I want to thank you guys so much for the support that we have had on this SMP. It is way more than any of us imagined. We weren't even sure if anyone was going to like this SMP, and we've had massive supports. A lot of us have hit huge subscriber and view goals. Uh, myself, I'm about to be monetized in a couple of days the way it's going, and I've already hit about almost 2,000 subscribers, which is just mind-boggling because I still just thank you guys for 1,000. It's, it's insane, insane. Uh, but I do want to talk about the future of this SMP as far as my channel. Now, that doesn't mean I'm leaving. I'm 100% being in this SMP. I absolutely love it. I love the support that I'm getting. Uh, but I need to talk to you guys a little bit more about what what I need to do in order to continue on this SMP. So as a lot of you guys know, I'm a college student. So, uh, and I'm taking extra courses to graduate early. Uh, and one thing that I have realized is that um, I have a huge workload in college and that plus what I am doing as YouTube is really building up. So for example, this episode, I am now on hour about five of editing this video and recording and editing and uploading. And that's just going through all of my footage. Even though this might seem like a 10 minute video, it might seem like I've released it in like 10 minutes. Uh, it's taken me almost half a day to do this. Uh, and I haven't even started my homework today. So this is going to be a late night. So I'm thinking moving forward, I'm going to need to do streams and I'll do more streams uh, just because it's easier for me to stream for X amount of hours. And I know that it will be done in X amount of hours and then I can go do my homework if I need to. I hope that you guys understand in that in that uh, respect. That being said, if I end up getting more free time, there might be some more videos and I'm going to work with the live streams so that if you miss a certain live stream, you don't have to watch the playback if you don't want to and you won't miss anything. Maybe in the beginning of all my live streams, I'm going to go over what happened in the previous one. So you can just watch the first couple of minutes of every one of them if you miss several. Uh, but yeah, um, I hope you guys all understand. Thank you guys so much for the support on this SMP. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys all in the next one.